All right, now here we have a variety of Apuntia. Now, Apuntia is a genus name. We fail to go into the species because they rarely hybridize. Well, that means you get two different Apuntia, they make a third one. And that would make another one, and another one, and another one. So it just gets too difficult to figure out what it is. So it's just called by a species name, Apuntia. And you probably recognize this as cactus, or cacti, because we've got more than one. Now you see behind me, you can see the Napoli you'd probably find in a Spanish market. Put that way in Machaca for breakfast. Now, I want to talk about this one, this one down here. And if you notice, you're not going to find it here, but down in Southern California and Mexico, there's a little red spider that grows on it <clears throat> called the cochineal. Now, when the British would raid the Spanish galleons, the cochineal was more valuable than the gold. Can anybody tell me why? All right, think 17 and 76. What were we doing? Right, fighting the British. What was the army called? The Redcoats. The cochineal was used to dye the wool for the red of the British army, British Redcoats. It was so valuable, even the king and queen of England were unable to use, were forbidden to use the cochineal as a dye. The red was strictly reserved for the British Army. And remember, it takes one heck of a lot of cochineals to dye a wool red coat army uniform. That's why the cochineal was more valuable than the gold. All right, here we have an example of yucca shadigarai. Now, touch the tip of this. Go ahead, it's not gonna bite you. Go ahead, put your fingers on there. And you notice why it's called the Spanish sword. It's very sharp. Now what you can do is, and they would do this on the trail, was take the needle part, pull it back, and you have a long, string, thin strand of sisal. And what's this? Well, needle and thread. You can repair your saddlebags while on the trail. So this is Yucca Shadigara. Now if you notice on some of the other plants there, you can see this very tall spike growing up it. Well, that's because of very high sugar content in the roots. And the Mexicans, to their credit, discovered that, hey, you know, we can make a drink out of this, a very high sugar content, a very sweet drink. There's a town in Mexico called after it, tequila. <laughs>